Hi everyone, welcome to Focal Academy. See this problem. Here one transmission line is given here, and it was operating at a frequency 10 megahertz. And the properties are given here. For this transmission line, having resistance 60 ohms per meter, having conductance 600 microsiemens per meter, having inductance 0.3 microhenry per meter, and having capacitance 0.75 nanofarad per meter. Then how can you find attenuation constant and phase constant for the given transmission line? And this is the problem. Here this is the given data and this is the required data. Now analyze it, what is the relation is there for finding the required data. So we have a propagation constant is there. So from that we can easily find attenuation constant and phase constant. So from this given data we can find propagation constant first of all. That is gamma equal to root of r plus j omega l into g plus j omega c. So here r plus j omega l it is called as series impedance and this is shunt admittance. So first of all find this rectangle form into polar form that is r plus j omega l that is R is given as 60 ohms with 60 plus J into omega means 2 pi f that is 2 into pi into f is operating frequency that is given as 10 mega edges that is 10 into mega means 10 power 6 into next L is given as 0 0.3 micro Henry that is 0 0.3 into micro means 10 power minus 6. So it is in the polar form. So this is x and this is y. x plus i y form. Now convert this into polar form as with magnitude and with phase angle. So for finding magnitude, that is root of x square plus y square, we can use this formula. And for finding phase angle, that is tan inverse of y by x. Now use these formulas, we can convert this polar form into So magnitude r equal to root of 60 square plus 2 pi into 10 power 7 into 0 0.3 into 10 power minus 6 whole square this totally under root. So the magnitude becomes 62.7 and phase angle theta is tan inverse of y by x y is 2 pi into 10 into 10 power 6 10 power 7 into 0 0.3 into 10 power minus 6 upon and x is 60. So from this we get theta equal to 17.44. So it can be written as 62.7 with phase angle 17.44. So why I am converting into rectangle form into polar form means for easy simplification. Next convert this shunt admittance also into polar form g plus j omega c that's equal to here g is given as 600 micro seven micro means 10 power minus 6 plus j omega means 2 pi f 2 pi and f is given as 10 megahertz that is operating frequency. 10 into 10 power 6 mega means 10 power 6 and c is given as 0 0.75 nanofarad nano means 10 power minus 9 so this is here x and this is here y now convert this into polar form having magnitude it is all equal to root of 600 into 10 power minus 6 whole square plus and y is 2 pi into 10 power 7 into 0 0.75 into 10 power minus 9 whole square. So by simplifying this we will get 0 0.047 and phase angle theta we will get tan inverse of y by x y is 2 pi into 
टेन पवर सेवन इंटू जीरो पॉइंट सेवन फाइव इंटू टेन पवर माइनस नाइन अपॉन सिक्स हंड्रेड इंटू टेन पवर माइनस सिक्स सो बाई सिंह फाइन दिस विल गेट फेज एंगल एस एटीन पॉइंट टू सेवन डिग्रीज सो इट कैन बिटन एस जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फोर सेवन विथ फेज एंगल एटीन पॉइंट टू सेवन और सबसेट दिस वैल्यू एंड दिस वैल्यू इन दिस इक्वेशन That is gamma equal to root of r plus j omega l into g plus j omega c. So r plus j omega l we got this is the value. Now, now substitute here becomes root of sixty-two point seven with phase angle seventeen point four four degrees into And this value we got. This is the value. Now substitute here. Zero point zero four seven with phase angle eighteen point two degrees. So here, why I am converting this complex numbers into polar form means the multiplication and division between polar forms are very easy. So while if you do this with complex numbers, it takes lot of steps and confusion will take place. Now here. So whenever two polar forms are there, like this, R1 with phase angle theta1 into R1 with phase angle theta2, so it can be written as R1 into R2 with phase angle will be sum on that is theta1 plus theta2. So this is the multiplication between polar forms. So whenever this is taking place between two polar forms, that is R1 with phase angle theta1, R2 with phase angle theta2, it can be written as R1 by R2 with phase angle we go subtraction that is theta1 minus theta2. So this is the two formulas for finding the multiplication and division between two polar forms. So here we have multiplication is there. So between these two polar forms, now apply this formula, then we get one point seven two with phase angle to three point three two. So I am going to calculate directly complete value here. So this is the propagation constant. Now we can convert this polar form into again rectangle form. So whenever the polar form is given as R with phase angle theta, so it can be converted into rectangle form as x plus i y, that is R into cos theta plus i sin theta. So it can be converted into This x plus i y form, okay. So it becomes gamma equal to r into cos theta plus i sin theta. That's equal to r into r is one point seven two. So one point seven two into cos theta is this is fifty three point seven two plus j. Sin theta, sin is three point seven two. So by simplifying this, we will get one point zero seven plus j one point three eight. Okay, this is the propagation constant in complex form, not polar form. But here we want attention constant and phase constant. So the propagation constant. That is gamma is always equal to alpha plus j beta. Now this equation and this equation compare will get alpha and beta value. That is alpha will get one point zero two seven. This is units are Napier's per meter, and beta is we got one point three eight meter inverse. So this is the Process of getting the attention constant and phase constant. And thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, share. Thanks.